Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon and today what I want to do is show you how I built a neural network to tell someone whether or not the sentence they entered into the text box is a complete sentence or an incomplete sentence. Now before I show you that I, I just want to give credit where credit is due and tell you that I got the inspiration for this program that I did from Daniel Simmons in an article titled you can build a neural network in JavaScript even if you don't really understand neural networks so he has a great example here uh, the problem with his example is it's not as useful as I would like it to be for example in his version he you type in a tweet and it tells you whether or not the tweet was from Kim Kardashian or Donald Trump actually you don't even type it in it's built into it, so you'd have to rerun the script every time. Secondly, the output for it goes to the console log, and so someone just can't come to a web page, type it in, and find out if it works or not, or if it's from Donald Trump or Kim Kardashian. So that was the other problem that I had with it. It needed to be useful. And so that's what I built. I built one that you could just use in a web page. So if I come here and I type in practice engineer, forward slash dot com forward slash brain hit enter and it will come up and as you can see here it's training and that takes a little while um, at some point in time what I'll do is set up the server so that it only has to train once and then people will be able to access that code without having it to retrain every time so you enter your sentence here so we'll say I would love to see that movie and we'll say submit and this says I'm 81 percent sure that I would love to see that movie is an incomplete sentence so that's incorrect it is a complete sentence so let's try something else I want to see that movie and let's try this one and see what happens okay so I'm 99 percent sure that I want to see that movie as a complete sentence you'll know that in the previous one it was only 81 percent sure and it was in fact wrong so now if we type in a incomplete sentence I or in the morning we'll just say and click submit and that's 99 percent sure in the morning is an incomplete sentence and in the morning is just a prepositional phrase so it's not really a complete sentence and so that's how this works now, of course, a lot of it depends upon the size of your training set. Now, I don't have a very large training set right now, so that's part of the problem. As you build your training set larger and larger, you'll be able to, it'll do a better and better job, in other words. So, this is how this works. First of all, if you want to download this, all the files you need, you would just go to Practice Engineer, Brain, and then brain.zip and that will download it I've downloaded it like three times already <laughs> practicing this so that's how you get all the files that come with it so what I'm gonna do is just go right click on here and view page source so that you can kinda of get an idea of what we're dealing with so as you can see at the top it's got a name there's the body and then here's our divider for results so this is where it tells us like what percentage sure at first it's gonna tell us that it's training and then down below we have our text field enter your sentence here and then we have our text box okay and so on click it does the execute function and then it takes the information from the text field value so the text field okay and then its value and that's the input type here so the input type name is text field so that's what we're getting I'm sorry the ID is text field and we're getting the element by ID and then we have three JavaScript files the first one is brain.js and that's our JavaScript library for creating a neural network so that has to be just the way it is you wouldn't make any changes to that however under training data this is what you would make changes to and what you would make changes to is the input anything in quotation marks and then you would also change the output label here to whatever you want it to be. Obviously, I'm using compsent, which is short for complete sentence. And then for the other one, I'm using incompsent for incomplete sentence. And then you can see it's a colon and then a number one. And that's all in curly brackets. So that's how that all works. Okay. 
And so what you would do is if you wanted to do like spam, you would say input, uh, make millions at home doing nothing. And then you would have, you could just write spam and then one or not spam and one if it isn't spam. So that's how you would do that. And so obviously I'm just doing two things, two variables. It's either a complete sentence or an incomplete sentence. And as you can see, I have this training set here. And it gets a little longer down here. Okay, so that's my training set, and that's what you would change. And remember, the larger the training set, the better. And remember that you're only changing what's inside these quotation marks, and you're really only changing these labels to whatever labels you want to use. So that's the training data set. Then the next item is the script. Now, you really don't have to change a lot in the script. Other than, again, you can see where we have our output, our results. And in case here, so if you change those labels in your training set, then those labels would also have to be changed here. So either comsent or incomsent or spam or not spam, whatever your labels want to be. But I'm going to quickly go over what's in this script. So our first function here, this actually changes our text to numbers, so character codes because we can only work with numbers in this. So it takes every letter, every character, converts it into a character code so that it's a number. Okay, and then this formats them into their various inputs, whether it be complete sentence or incomplete sentence. This is our training function, and as you can see, I have commented out all of our options that we can do when we do our training data. So I have mine set to a very slow learning rate so that it does a better job, but you can make this faster. And then, of course, it gets the, it does the trained, and when it's trained, then it says training complete. And then this is our execute function. This is the function that runs when you click the button, when you click the submit button. Okay, that's this. Okay. And the way it works is very simple. There's an if-then statement, and if it says the results of the complete sentence are greater than the results of the incomplete sentence, that means it's a complete sentence. And if it's not, then it's the incomplete sentence, and then it tells you the probability or the certainty that it's one or the other down here. And then this function, train training data, this runs, obviously, the training data when you first load this. So at some point in time, I will have to remove this. What will happen is it will check to see if it's been trained, and if it has been trained, then it won't need to do this. But this is the function that runs when you first load the program. So those are really the only areas you need to change. You need to change these labels to match the labels that you use in your training data. And of course, you need to change your training data. But that's really it. And remember, the longer the training set that you have, the better it's going to be. So my name is Michael Langdon, and this is Learning Engineer, and that's how you create a neural network rather simply and easily. Bye.